Let's look at part B of question one from the May 2024 CSET Mathematics past paper. All right, it says Mahendra and Jada and Jaya shared $7,224 in the ratio 7 to 5. How much more money does Manendra or Mahendra receive than Jaya or Jaya? Hope I'm pronouncing the names correctly based on your spelling. Alright, so it says how much. It doesn't say how much money, you know, it says how much more money. Now you notice they have it in full caps. Capital letters. No. You have seven to five. It's like the seven thousand two hundred and twenty four dollars. You could represent it like a line and it's cut into a number of equal parts. You have one part is one. Two, three, four, five. Let me draw them further. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's the seven part. And then one, two, three, four, five. That's the five part. So here you have seven to five. Now the total number of parts. What is it? Let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So seven plus five is twelve. So you have a total of twelve parts. Now, the seven part is for M-A-H-E-N-D-R-A, -E Mahendra. That's the seven part. And the five part is for, oh, the seven part goes further out. So, um, is it? Is that it? The seven part was one, two, three, four, five. Oh, right, right, right. It was okay. It stopped here. All right. So then, um, J A Y A, Jaya or Jaya. This is, I'm going to say Jaya. This is Jaya's part, all right? So, here now, if that total, so here, the seven plus five give you 12 parts. If the entire $7,224 is divided into 12 equal parts then each part is how much each would be 7 2 2 4 over 12 all right we could just um, save a bit of time by using our calculator instead of doing it manually for now. So here it is 7224 over 12. So each part is $602. You see that? Each part, $602. So for example, from here, to here is 602. 
All right? No. Mahendra has seven of the 602. So here now. Mahendra. How much does Mahendra get? It's seven times 602. And how much does Jada get? Or Jada get? It's five times six o two. You see that? So that's how the calculation would be done. So let's look at each how much each of them will get. So here now, back to our calculator, we have seven times six o two is 4, 42, 14 and we also have 5 times 602 so we have 30, 10 42, 14, 30, 10 42, 14, 30, 10 42, 14, 30, 10 42, 14 and uh, 30, 10. These are in dollars. Now, how much more? So we're going to have 42, 14 minus 30, 10 to give us the answer. How much more money does Mahendra get than the amount that Jada gets? So we say... For the two fourteen dollars minus thirty ten. Oh my, that was accidental. I clicked off the calculator. Let's get back to the calculator. Thirty ten equal one two four. See that? So our answer is one two o four, one thousand two hundred and four dollars. And remember, you should have tried the question before you watch the video of me working it out. All right. Now here. Part C says the present population of Portmouth is 550,000. It is expected that this population is in, will increase by 42% by the year 2030. Alright. Write the number. 5 hundred and fifty thousand in standard form now remember when you write in standard form you have the first non-zero digit let's call it n then the point then the other ends whatever they are all right then to make this equal to the original number, you multiply by 10 raised to a power. Call it P. So, that's what will happen. Now, here, you see the 550,000. You're going to write 5.5. Then that will be multiplied by a certain number. What do you multiply 550,000? What, what do you multiply 5 by, 0.5 by to get 550,000? Let's see if this was it. 
and you multiply by 10 it will become 55 multiply by 100 it will become 550 by 1000 it will become 5500 multiply by 10,000 it will become 55,000 by 100,000 it will become 550,000 so 10, 20, 30 I mean <laughs> 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000 you must multiply this by 100,000 alright now the thing is when you do this the hundred thousand is the same as ten raised to a certain power which power is that? hmm well now what you consider is ten to the power of one is ten 10 to the 2 is 100, 10 to the 3 is 1000, 10 to the 4th is 100, is um, 10,000, 10 to the 5th power is 100,000. So this is the same thing, this, this 100,000 is the same thing as 10 raised to the power of 5. See that? Now this is in standard form. Alright? It is 5.5 .5 times 10 to the power of 5. Ensure you understand the process. Alright? Now, they say calculate the expected population of Portmore in 2030. What is said? It is expected to increase by 42 percent and remember you know you should try the question before answering so here now what did you get when you calculated that let us see here you have 550 thousand already that is what you have now then in 2030 you have 42 percent more it will increase by 42 percent in 2030 all right so the question is what is 42 percent of 550,000 whatever that is you're going to calculate it and add it to 550,000 to get the expected population all right so here now what you're going to have is say 42 per per means out of out of what? Out of cent. Now cent comes from the word centrum. C E N T cent. Just like when you have someone um, lives to a hundred years, that is a centenarian. One hundred cents make one dollar. Cricketer hits 100 runs, that's a century. So 42 out of 10, out of 100. 42 divided by 100. Of multiply, of what? Of 550. My, my. 1000. Alright? That's the calculation there. Let's simplify this a bit. If you divide, go by 100. What you'll get is 42 times 5,500. What is 42 multiplied by 
5,500. Let us see. 42 times 5,500 equal 231,000. So it's 231,000 more. So the expected population will be 550. Thousand plus two thirty one thousand, which should be what zero and zero. We well, could have to use the calculator, but let's do it manually right now. Zero and zero, zero, zero plus zero, zero, zero plus zero, zero, one and zero, one, five and three, eight, five, six, seven. So it would be seven hundred and eighty one. Thousand so seven eighty one thousand so it's five fifty thousand plus two thirty one thousand to give you seven eighty one thousand and that will be our population. Let me write it a bit neater. So answer. The expected population will be 550,000 plus 231,000 equal. How much was it again? Um, 781. 781,000. Alright? So that is the expected population, which is our answer. Um, we'll continue in our next video.